This project is a drain plate. In studying the drawing, I can see that it's a round circular plate, five millimeters thick, that it has an array of five millimeter holes with five holes proceeding up from the center point and five holes to the left, creating this uh, pattern. These holes have a spacing of 10 millimeters. I'll start a new part studio in millimeters. Click sketch and choose the top sketch plane to start my drawing. I'll start drawing the plate itself. This will be a center point circle. I'll snap the center of that circle coincident to the origin and add a diameter of 150 millimeters. The first hole of the series will be right in the center. So I'm going to click again on the origin, click a circle, and this will be a five millimeter circle to represent the first hole. To create my pattern, I'm going to choose a linear, a linear pattern from my toolbar. When I choose that, the process is first choose the item that I want to be included in the pattern. I can then edit, for example, how many items will be patterned vertically. In this case, we said five, but we are including the center hole in this, so we'll say six as a total in the vertical direction. Here's in the horizontal direction, I'll say six. The distance vertically is going to be 10 millimeters. And the distance horizontally will be 10. And I can see the pattern develop here. And my icon shows me that I click the left mouse button to accept the pattern. And there is the array created. Now this last hole out here is not part of the array. It's too close to the edge anyway. So what I'm going to do is select it by clicking it right-click the mouse, delete the sketch entity. Now I can delete one item out of this pattern and it still doesn't affect the pattern. So now I've got one-fourth of my total pattern done. I'm going to mirror this pattern to make the other parts. To do that I need some center lines. So I'll get a line, construction. I'm going to project from the origin Hold the mouse button down and draw a single center line, vertical. I'll do the same horizontally, project from the origin, hold the mouse button down and draw a center line horizontally. Now I will use my mirror tool and it says select the mirror line. I'll select this vertical center line and now select the items to be mirrored. I'm going to use a window to select all of these uh, circles that are in my pattern. And I see them show up on the other side of the mirror line. To accept that, I'm going to right click and escape mirror. Now I still need to, to mirror all of these to the bottom. So again, I'm going to use my mirror command, my mirror tool, select the center line horizontal, use a window to select all of these circles I have so far. I can see them patterned to the bottom. Again, I will right click and escape mirror to accept these. With all the holes drawn for my pattern, I'll accept this sketch, finish it, right click, and view isometric. I'll hit P on the keyboard to turn off my planes and choose extrude from my feature menu. For my profile, I'm going to choose and you'll notice that it automatically excludes and creates the holes. So my blind thickness is going to be five millimeters. I'll hit enter to view. And I can see that that's left out the material so it's created all the holes. I'll accept it. My pattern looks right and so this part is completed.